Are you ready to be a coach or a mentor? In this video, we're gonna talk about whether you're really ready or not. Stay tuned. What's up guys, my name's Travis Brady. I've been coaching collectively 17 years and I actually started right as soon as I graduated high school. I was 19 years old and I just wanted to be a personal trainer. I wanted to train people for a living because how cool is that to have a job where you're just in your pajamas all day, right? Um, I had played baseball in high school. I wanted to be a professional baseball player. And so since that didn't work out, I was like, man, I got to do something close. So I graduated. I got a job at Discover Card. It was a great job. I learned a lot while I was there, but I really wanted to be a trainer. And so whenever I'd work out in the gym, I'd always follow around all the trainers and be like, how did you do it? You know, what certifications do you need? And I was just like this little lost puppy, right? Just following, you know, people around. And I remember one day, uh, his name was John. Thank you, John, J-O-N. It's a good name, by the way. And he came up to me and he started saying, you know what, I think you have what it takes. I've been watching you and, you know, I really want you to come on the team and start training. And at first I thought he was talking to someone else. I was like, what, me? Because I thought that the planets had to be aligned perfectly. You needed a PhD. You needed all these certifications in order to even apply to be a coach. Like I had no idea what I was doing, but he's like, you know what? You don't have a certification right now. That's totally fine. Just be working on it. In the meanwhile, I want you to come on to the team. And so I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm good enough. I don't know if I'm ready. And like, can I really make an impact, you know, and an income doing something that I love? But what I realized looking back is I was always, I was already making an income and an impact. It just wasn't the way that I wanted. And I would say the same thing for you. You're already making an impact. You're already making an influence. You're already making an income. It's just how are you doing that? Are you in a cubicle all day? Are you selling some stupid software program? Maybe you're in some job that's just a dead end. You know, what I love about this industry is you can really decide how you want to impact people, how you want to influence people. And through that, you know, you get to essentially create your own income through that. So, you're already doing it. So the next question is like, okay, how do I start? Like I want, okay, I can do this. I need to jump in. I don't have to be perfect. Like, where do I start? So jumping back to when I was 19, I had no clue. I had no clue what I was doing. I had no idea um, what to do at all. Like, how do I start? And so essentially what he told me is grab people and start giving, grab people and start helping them. Start taking people through workouts, start sharing your knowledge and through sharing your knowledge, okay, people are going to see, wow, you could really help me in my life. And then that's where that conversation starts to start, okay, when it comes to getting paid. And so, um, as you know, or those who know me, I like to draw pictures because seeing is believing, right? So I like to refer as a figure eight. Okay, not so great of a figure eight, but you get what I'm talking about. And we got to give... And then we got to receive. And so where most people get stuck is that they, you're, you're starting right here and it takes a while for your giving, okay, to come around, really start to pay off. And so during this time, this is where most people get stuck is they go, oh, I guess I'm not good enough. I was like, dude, you're, you haven't gave enough. You're not, you're not giving enough. And so once we keep giving and giving, eventually what comes around is that we will receive money. And so that's where most coaches get stuck is they feel like they should be receiving immediately. As soon as they put out a post on social media, they feel like they should be getting money and everyone should be rushing towards them or they should just put an add to cart on their website and, also, and automatically everyone's signing up. And I wish it was that easy. However, I will say this, Success in this industry is inevitable. Okay, and what I mean by inevitable is if you continually give, okay, you will continually receive. And our most successful clients and coaches are the ones who give the very most. And where people really get stuck is they're expecting to get this. And the reason why they're not receiving is because they're not giving. And through focusing on just giving in my business 
it just automatically comes. So the best coaches, the ones that are making the most, they give the most. Tony Robbins, I had a chance to um, learn from Dean Graciosi and Brendan Bouchard, Ethan Willis, Randy Garn, some of the top coaches in the industry, and they just focus on giving. They focus on how can I truly help people. And when you begin with that and you really focus on giving, okay, success is inevitable. And so some of you might be asking, well, where do I really start? How do I really start giving? So check out my next video. I'm going to be more specific on when you really start. Again, be inspired, guys. Be next gen, be unique, be different, and remember the world needs you.